What is going on guys? C Robbie Rob here. What's going on guys? C Robbie Rob here. What is going on guys? C Robbie Rob here. What is going on guys? C Robbie Rob here. What's going on guys? C Robs. What is going on guys? C Robbie Rob here. You guys have it. This has been C Robbie Rob. What's going on guys? C Robbie Rob. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. What is going on guys? C Robbie Rob here and today we're about to jump straight into a full follow along park workout. I would say this is a beginner's workout mixed in with some intermediate calisthenic skills. If you can't do the skills yet, don't worry about it. Just focus on the beginner moves that you can do and follow along with the suggested reps. Right off the bat, we're going to be doing these inclined push-ups, okay? If you're past this level, you can do regular push-ups, you can do explosive push-ups. There's a ton of different variations that you can do for your progress level. After that, we're jumping straight into these jump pull-ups. So we're actually jumping to get up and then we're controlling the negative on the way down, going slow and controlled. Really focus on squeezing your lats and go all the way down to a full extension. With pull-ups, guys, if you can do regular pull-ups, do them. If you have to, you can hook up a band to help assist you. But these jump pull-ups are a great beginner way to start progressing towards your first full pull-up. Next, we're gonna be going into some pipe push-ups. These are one of my all-time favorite bodyweight exercises. So you guys know and understand, with the pipe push-up, the further your feet are away from your hands, the easier the movement is gonna be. There's a couple key points when it comes to pipe push-ups that you need to be hitting. Your hips need to stay locked, and you need to be pushing down and forward, and then pushing up and back in order to best correct your form with the pike push-ups and get the most out of the movement. These are skin the cat variations where we're actually going all the way through, hanging, and then all the way back over. With this variation, it's a lot harder. This isn't gonna be a beginner move. If you guys can't do it, don't worry. Just skip this exercise. There's plenty of exercises in this full workout for you to try out and follow along. If you can do this, this is a great calisthenics exercise opening up your shoulders, really working your core. And then this, I think, was just me showing off, to be honest. Wanted to show you guys, though, the next exercise we're going into is hanging knee raises. A great exercise for your core, teaching you to engage your core. The key point here is show your butt. You want to pick up, not just pick up your legs, but you want to actually crunch with your abs to get a full contraction and get the most out of this movement. You want, if someone was looking at you in front, they, they should be able to see your butt in order to best do the ab exercise. Now we're jumping into some mountain climbers, more of a cardio based exercise, also gonna be working the abs. Do this one, this one is tough. So for beginners, just adjust the time that you would do it. There's nothing wrong with doing 20 to 25 seconds of this exercise. It's gonna be enough to blast your core, especially when paired with all these other movements. But if you can handle it, shoot for a higher number like 30, 35, 40, 45 seconds even in the movement. Then we're gonna do these jackknife ab crunches, another ab movement to really challenge your core. When it comes to calisthenics, core is one of the most important things and that's why we're focusing so much on building a strong core so that when you go to progress to some of these other movements, you'll have no problem doing them. Then we're jumping straight into these butt kicks. I'm sorry, high knees. This one is pretty self-explanatory. You're just gonna tap your knees up to your hands. Really try to drive your knee as high as you can to get the most out of this exercise. This one actually is pretty exhausting, especially when paired with all these other moves. So once again, just adjust the time based on your current skill level. There's nothing wrong with doing 20 or 25 seconds. The trick is with these calisthenics workouts that I'm giving you guys is to stay moving the whole time. I don't want you guys to have to rest too much in between exercises, but next exercise, we're doing these step ups. Simply gonna do eight on each leg, find an elevated surface, put your foot on it, and then step up and drive that knee up. If you have to, for my beginners, you can do a lower surface or you can hold on to an object to help you. Just make sure when you go to push, if you're holding the object, the leg that's planted on the surface, you need to really drive through that leg in order to get the most out of the movement. And lastly, we're gonna finish up with some decline push-ups. 
end the workout here. This is going to be a routine workout. I want you guys to do three, maybe even four rounds if you're really feeling good. This should be challenging. I did a wide grip decline here to really hit my chest. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next video.